The scapula, or shoulder blades, are flat bones that serve as insertion points for 15 different muscles. Many of us today are not aware of how vital the function of this area is to proper movement. With weak or tight muscles in this area, it can lead to an array of shoulder and back problems. There are several main movements we tend to overlook when it comes to scapular health. Number one is elevation and depression, bringing your scapula up towards your ears and then down towards your back pockets. Number two is protraction and retraction, bringing your scapula together like you're pinching a pencil between them and then pushing them apart, letting the serratus anterior engage and em emanating a movement like that of pushing the floor away. With any exercise, the main aim of the scapula is to make sure that it's doing exactly the opposite of what gravity wants it to do. This will make sure supporting stability muscles are engaged and reduce the likelihood of the joint going in the wrong direction that could lead to an injury. For example, in a handstand, gravity will naturally cause the scapula to depress, but that is when you aim to elevate in the handstand to increase stability. In a support hold, like that at the top of the rings or bar, the scapula will want to elevate, so your job is to push them away from the ground and imagine you're trying to get your ears as far away from your shoulders as you can. In scapula pull-ups, the movement is focused on depression and elevation. With scapula press-ups, the movement is focused on protraction and retraction. Scapular circles, be it standing or hanging, involve the connection of all four movements as well as adding an upwards and downwards rotation. Once you have mastered these movements, you can go forwards and backwards with both of them. After building some strength, you can try it on just the one arm at a time. Arched back pull-ups. Instead of a normal scapular pull-up, you will draw the scapula back and down further while bringing the chest up with locked out arms. This should engage your back and core. Just be sure not to hyperextend the lower spine.